Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. Let's find out can you stream Call of Duty to your Chromebook using a Parsec streaming game streaming service. Parsec allows you to stream your games to your Android devices and to other computers just installing a server app and a client app on the, your devices respectively. Um, I already covered the video how you can, um, well, I explained in the previous videos how you need to set that up and install and everything else. And a couple of days ago, um, Parsec announced that they, you can download the app directly from a Google Play Store. So no more side loading. So you can go straight to a Google Play Store, search for word Parsec, and you should see this logo and you can download for free. Currently, this app is unreleased, as you can see in the brackets here, which means that this app is still in the test mode. What well, that is, basically, the app can be unstable and <clears throat> and etc. So it's, uh, it's not 100% finished. So it is uh, sometimes, uh, um, what's this called, um, unstable, it can crash and etc. So, for example, as you can see in the description, it says... Um, you can do a quick uh, World of Warcraft raid on your Chromebook or play games like uh, Rocket League on your friend's computer in the same uh, like um, co-op mode with Android devices and etc. So this is my Chromebook Acer i11 currently connected to my Wi-Fi using 2G, 2.5G um, signal and behind me you can see a corner is basically that's my gaming monitor. So I already set up a Parsec server on my gaming PC. So what I'll do, I'll open the Parsec client. First time on your opening, uh, you will have to sign in. Like I mentioned before, I done a video exactly how you need to set up all this. It's just right now a quick test how it's gonna perform if I'm gonna play Call of Duty on my Chromebook. So currently it's connecting. So the it is connected. So, okay, wrong button. Let's move the uh, volume a bit down. So mouse is moves and etc. So if I'll click the window key on here, you should see it pops up there as well. So uh, where is my Call of Duty? So let's open up Call of Duty and see how it's going to perform. I never tried this before, so anything can happen. In the previous videos, I tried, um, what's this called? Skyrim. I tried Skyrim, but that wasn't very, very good. But that was with a side-loaded app. Now I'm gonna play with, uh, what's this called? What's this? Gamepad detected. No, I don't want a gamepad. I wanna go full screen mode. So settings, again, I can see the mouse. Mouse situation will be bad because uh, actual mouse is there, but streaming mouse is there. So what I need is I need to ch possibly change, change that to a full screen mode and that should fix it, hopefully. Because then it should be the same and it's crashed. Brilliant. So let's try again. So refresh, refresh. On a computer, I can see it's, it's already changed and I had to press enter just to accept it because it, uh, it was counting down from 10. So <clears throat> let's connect again. So connecting to the host. Okay. Connect again and the mouse situation not changed at all so um let's go to advanced settings let's see the resolution 720p i need to lower that down or actually increase that to actual screen resolution of my chromebook which i cannot remember what's my chromebook resolution so let's quickly check acer i11 chromebook Screen resolution. Let's quickly check. Okay, it is thirteen sixty six by seven six eight. Right, I, so I chose the correct one. So go back and open up again. So we should connect. Detect the gaming PC and connecting again. <clears throat> so the mouse situation is still the same as you can see it is mouse jumps all over place right okay so uh do, 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 do. what else i can choose 
aspect ratio 16 by 9 standard 4 by 3 let's try okay that done nothing why 16 by 9 will that work nope uh, I've been kicked off the app but the game I can see still running so that's not working and resolutions changed to 1920 by 1080 which is not supposed to be that way so do auto kick off the app probably again yes so restart the app connect and resolution i need to change resolution to match my my um chromebook so 1360 so that's my chromebook resolution again you see it kicks me out and it's count it's time counting time backwards on the screen as you can see there is well I missed that but it says five four three two one and it's reverse back where it was so imagine you change the resolution somewhere in a calf and you have 10 seconds to connect back in and change the resolution so let's try again so changed back open up connect and I need to accept it. Come on. Three, two, one. Missed it. <laughs> 10 seconds is not enough. Right. Okay. Let's change here. So resolution. Let's do um, this. Parser crashed. Obviously, it's an released app. So, and I sign out. This is bad. Right. Let's connect again. Let's move a bit backwards. The keyboard, you won't be able to see my password which is this connect so settings resolution is I need to change to this bandwidth let's go to do five even if I'm connected local I'll do five and FPS maximum let's do 30 so I have native resolution of my Chromebook uh, 5 megabits ban bandwidth 30 fps connect so i'm connecting and let's see if a resolution will change on the screen which it did and now i'm still at 1080 anyway let's let's leave as it is it's not enough faffing about and i this is struggle because the, the actual Chromebook mouse is there and the actual mouse of the game is somewhere else. It just by accident tapped on the screen. So as you can see, that's a Chromebook mouse and that's an in-game mouse. So let's do a D-Day. No, no, no. Let's continue. I was playing a bit of this game, so resume. So let's see how it's performed. So cut, uh, cut, uh, cut scene. Let's sort the camera angle. As you can see, there is a bit of, you can see behind the Chromebook is actual game running on my gaming PC. Regarding resolution, that can be changed. I'm not sure how this affects if your gaming PC, you will disconnect the monitor totally. I'm not sure if that's going to do anything because um, I was playing about a while back. I was playing about with remotely connecting to a Raspberry Pi. And what I noticed that if I have a monitor connected to a Raspberry Pi, resolution always resets after its stream is finished. But I think if I disconnect the monitor, my gaming PC, the resolution should stick to whatever I set through the client. So, come on. Cutscene is happening and let's see how it's going to go. Come on. Cut, cut scene. Come on. Hold enter to skip. So, right. Let's see how I'm gonna... All right, as you can see, uh, I can't really go 360 around. 
at least the med kit is working. I'm trying to. All right then, I'm stuck as it. Uh... This is not good. So whatever you're facing, you can go around because a mouse is not interacting properly with the game. Right, okay, that's fine. So what I'll do next is I'll grab my Xbox 360 wired controller. Let's go grab my Xbox 360 wired controller somewhere here. Let's go oh, connect it. So I'm connecting at the side of it. Ooh, don't go anywhere, Chromebook. Connect. So it's connected. Yes. So right now mouse can go and rest. And it's so weird. Okay. Um, where is settings? How to get to settings? Okay, let's do a let's do this way. Controls, gamepad enabled. Okay, gamepad enabled. Gamepad enabled. So back. Let's try to play this way. So as you can see, it's me who's playing with the controller let's go let's go for it all right apparently L3 down enables a what is called steam keyboard which is bad thing and I've been kicked off um, connection so let's connect again so that's what you would get if you want to play, let's say, Call of Duty on your Chromebook or stream it. Control is not enabled, so I have no option to use controller. Let's go back to OK. I can see at the top it says LBRB. How to get up there? Settings, controls, gamepad, it's enabled. That's fine. But because I've been disconnected, I cannot use the control anymore. Even even if it says uh, LB and RB, control is not working. And the keyboard is not working either. So here we are, Call of Duty on a Chromebook, being streamed using Parsec. Uh, this app needs to get a lot of work done before it's going to be uh, my replacement of, let's say, if I'm not replacement, if I want to go somewhere and play this game. So, uh, I just my, my comrades being killed and shoot at and I can't do anything because the keyboard right now not working and controller just because the app was disconnected. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click subscribe. This helps me a lot and uh, please leave a comment what you think about this, what suggestions do you have, do you think what I was doing here was wrong, am I talking bullshit, let me know and I'll see you in the next video, thank you and bye bye.